Alrighty, new shot here. This has sound. Let's go. Hey guys. <laughs> I was always like, oh my God, man, there was like a truck blocking my driveway and then I couldn't get out and then my head was hurting. I couldn't find any Advil. Hey guys. <laughs> I was always like, oh. Okay. Cool. So you are saying here, she's actually in the back of ambulance, right? So probably against the wall. You got some tools here, maybe a window. Okay, uh, no lip sync yet. Working on their eyes, overall opinion mechanics, and hands, hair, and face in base modes, all good. Okay, so the first thing. Hey guys, <laughs> I was always like, oh my God, man, there was like a truck blocking my driveway and then I couldn't get out and then my head was hurting, I couldn't find any ad. So when she starts talking, there are a couple things to me. Hey guys. Good beginning, accent, little pause, a laugh. I was always like, oh my God. Man. And then you got a big, oh my God, you got a big change there. Man, there was like a tr truck. Once we were around here, right? Blocking my driveway. Then it's all kind of the same cadence, the same style, kind of same tone. Blocking my driveway and then I couldn't get out and then my head was hurting, I couldn't find any Advil. So the tricky thing with that is that the as the sound has all the contrast and awesomeness, then it gets very flat and it's very repetitive. So that's when you have to offset this with more interesting body language and acting. The thing here, like once we start here, okay, so this is her rough box here and then onion skinning on. Blocking my driveway and then I couldn't get out. Pretty good in how she gets out of that and we got some arm gestures, but the thing is, the gesture here, it's not the best in terms of silhouette, how we have that framed here. It gets slightly better here with the fingers, but we have the upper arm, forearm overlap a lot, especially here. And then after that, you're doing it again. So the voice is repetitive and how she says in all that stuff, plus the actions are repetitive. So watch out for that. So we have that one, and then you have another one. Silhouette. My arm gets better because it's we see more of the arm, but this feels really broken. How that arm is out, the hand flat in front of it. I'm not quite buying. This gets a bit better in terms of the structure of it. It gets a bit wonky through there. And again, silhouette's a bit wonky on something like this. But I would actually take the second one out or not have this one and then have that one. But either way, it would be something where the arm is out, at least like that. You know, where it just we just have a cleaner silhouette. Now, it would be interesting to see your actual ambulance and all that stuff. And maybe, because it's she is in the thirds, that's, you know, your standard framing is fine. I'm wondering, since she's looking over here, do we want... I'm just I, like, don't do this. I'm just saying, like, thinking out loud. Do we want one of the ambulance workers uh, here over the shoulder? So that when she talks, she's talking to them and then you would potentially raise the eye line. Could it be something, and just hear me out, what if she is like this? And then we have ambulance worker <laughs> number one, ambulance worker number two, potentially, and then that's why Hold on, with this drawing tool, it won't refresh. So I would have to do something worse. So it's pretend, right? This extends to the side and one is here and then the other one can be here, right? So imagine with, with all of this going on that she might have an eye line a bit more over there. So she's that left and right is because she's constantly switching to whom she's talking to, if that makes sense. Unless you're just saying, no, 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 I would like this. It's implied that they are off screen, which is fine too. I don't see that anywhere in the uh, the email here. Yeah. So that would be one broader aspect that you could think about potentially if that's your jam. Because you wouldn't really have to do extra work. There would just be foreground blurred out. They might have a cycle or like a random curve on it where they're, they're kind of moving up and down every now and then. Like imagine like you're, you're in the ambulance and it's driving, so you get a couple bumps, which goes to my second thing. <laughs> I was always like... If she is, you're saying here, 
Let me see. She is totally nuts, is what we're saying. She's actually sitting on the back of the ambulance, found on the streets. She's totally nuts. The open for suggestions, for suggestions if you think it doesn't work. Um, not sure that I'm getting the totally nuts thing. I think she just seems... Hey, guys. <laughs> I was always like... Maybe alcohol, maybe some drugs. Walking my driveway, and then I couldn't... But she's really tired. But it's not, like, totally nuts. Like, she doesn't seem, for lack of a better term, crazy. Where, like, the expressions and the movement in terms of stylized craziness if that's what you want to call it or you know however nowadays you want to categorize that i, it, I don't quite read that again she, to me it's like someone is late night God, man there was had too much to drink potentially she's not slurring though so maybe on something she's on something but not crazy so that intensity is not there if, that, if i'm reading if you're saying that she's totally nuts i'm expecting different things Throwing it out there just because it would be so much work. Again, don't do it. Is that like it would add so much work, but it could be something where maybe you want to take ideas out of it that imagine she's sitting there and then you have ambulance worker number one, <laughs> ambulance worker number two. I know I'm adding two extra characters that you have to animate and they're trying to do stuff where they're trying to get the the blood pressure or whatever you want to call it. I don't really call it heart rate. No, heart rate something. Whatever. Blood pressure, I think. With that, little, with that little tool. Maybe the other person, maybe she has some cuts and scrapes. Maybe he's trying to put band-aids on or, or has something to check her ears or something. But because she's constantly moving left and right, they have a hard time doing things properly because she's just not holding still. But she's not aggressive, so they're, they're not really... They don't have to restrain her, if that makes sense. That's a crazy thought, just because it's a lot more work, but it could be something where it's maybe just arms off screen. Maybe the, the framing is, I mean, again, I'm going way off script here, but you're saying you're open to suggestions. I'm just thinking out loud. What if, you know, and then we just have arm, Arm trying to do stuff, arm, arm trying to do stuff on here, on her, checking. And through all of this, she can still do all of that, all of that. And then, you know, when she's here, that might be in the gesture with a, a nice silhouette. Just the thought. Just because right now, there's not much going on down here. It's kind of fun to stuff that pose. It's kind of that relaxed, kind of like interlocked pose while she's doing all that stuff. Sure. But it's not crucial to the story. To me, it's more like stuff like that. Expressions like this. The constant not focused area where she's constantly going left and right. Like that to me is the bigger meal, so to speak. So you could frame in more. But that could be one thing. The other thing too could be, again, hear me out. What if... <laughs> just going to go, what is he talking about? Well, it doesn't really... Maybe it doesn't really matter which direction I was going to go that she screen right. But what if she's like this, right? How far does she go to the left? Okay, that's the furthest. Okay. So imagine sitting here. And then we have the uh, ambulance worker one. He is just kind of maybe arms crossed or doing something. Like doing nothing. Like just arms crossed or whatever. And just looking at her. And then... As he is, you know, she might be talking to someone off screen and all he does or she is follow this character with their eyes. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if she would do something like that, instead of talking to someone off screen like that, imagine someone and they could be seated. However, like, to me, it seems like they could be seated right next to her. Uh, and the reason being is that she could, instead of looking over and doing this, she would actually lean against that person and go like, hey, you know what happened to me and all that stuff. And then that person would have a lean, you know, just not leaning away. They know they, they can't help themselves. So they're just kind of putting pressure on her so she doesn't fall this way. And just keep alive looking at them. And then you could have some cool interaction between body parts there. And she would do all of this. Every time she would look over here, she could look straight into the person's eye. It could be a profile where she looks at the person's mouth and realizes, oh, this is not where the eyes are. And then she looks up. I kind of lean into this whole 
I'm not quite there. Anyway, that's kind of my, my broader feedback, if that makes sense. Hey guys, <laughs> I was always like, oh my God, man, there was like a truck blocking my driveway. And then I- Especially here when she goes, nah, nah, nah. and then I couldn't get out. And then my head was hurting. I couldn't find any ad. Like all of that. What if she starts here, addresses this person off screen, Oh, does all of that and then looks over, but it's a bit more profile. And again, could be the thing of looking at your teeth and then looking up like, oh, that that's where your eyes are. Looks back over here. And once she gets into this repetitive talking, the compensation would be that she then turns around and starts to lean on that person. And then as the dialogue continues, she would lean more and more and more where that person has to lean more and more away. Just looking at them going, okay, well, that's our job. That's what we're doing. If that makes sense. I think that could be an interesting escalation of the shot and maybe adding some interest. And then, you know, because they're driving, you could have maybe something hanging there. And every now and then you got some bumps in, in the ambulance. And then she would kind of maybe bump up and down a little bit. This could have a little ding and then swing left and right. Just absolutely add some life to it. Maybe there's a window and then just stuff is, is going past you. So we know they're driving. I think it's an overall interesting, neat set dressing and a potential interaction. Or too crazy, added the second character. Maybe there's just their boxes, you know, supply stuff hanging here. It's packed. It's a packed ambulance. And then she just leans against what is there, puts her arms back and starts getting comfortable saying all of this so you don't have to worry about the second character. But I, I kind of like the idea she could start here, look around, and then turn and then like i said the the compensation for the kind of repetitive dialogue delivery is that she does something with her body that's a lot more contrasty that will offset that that's kind of my my pitch for that feel free to completely ignore but hopefully those were a couple ideas um and i'm gonna leave it at that before i go into other things like to me it would be like this is a pretty drastic neck pose where it will go just a bit further back to be a bit more aligned with the head here. You know, stuff like that. Um, like I said, it's early days. This feels very IK. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm hesitant to go too much into detail just in case you go in a different direction. But definitely that's the biggest issue to me. It's just the gesture, the the posing and the silhouette of all of this. But I do like, like this a lot. This is a lot of fun. That whole line of action that hunch pose i love that it's almost like she has no strength in her hands and fingers so that's why she interlocks them just to kind of have a pose there but it still flows nicely with the neck and then she has a tilt in her head and eyes closed like this is really fun i love this pose here so it's definitely cool and i think you could do all do all that and then have a moment where i love this that she goes back into closed eyes and it could be it could last even longer and then come out of it here again. It's kind of fun. It's, you don't see that that often that characters keep their eyes closed for a long period of time. And given that she has potential drugs or alcohol or something, it's it's warranted. It's okay for her to do that. Like someone 100% there wouldn't close their eyes for like half the dialogue, if that makes sense. Anyway, leave it at that. Let me know what you think. And that's it. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.